It's going, it's going. All right, here we go. The latest and greatest Uman vessel is ready and raring to go. Feel free to depart anytime. Let us set sail. Have a good trip, friends. Take care, Tora. There are spring games. Yo, they get you going. It's like so now we start buy to spring. Uncle Paul's Happy boat. times. Thanks, Simon. We owe you. Indeed. Enjoy your boaty jaunt. But they said 2018. I think one of them said early 2018 or Q1 2018. But they never gave like official dates. You never know what's gonna happen. I'll answer that question in just a minute, Lara. Just let's go through um let's go through this cutscene. And we'll talk capture cards for 3DS. But in the meantime, I'm gonna link you to where I got my 3DS so modded. That's the world tree. Well, I've never seen it so close before. Me neither, to tell you the truth. But it's just as awesome as it helped. The current's really strong. Fall in that, and you're a goner. It's great that we made it this far, but how do we get over there? Any ideas? Pyra? We... Huh? Rex, we need to leave. We can't stay here. What? Why? What are you talking about, Pyra? Oh, boy. Oh, hi! Wow, oh, great. Oh, Fion. It's Leviathan. Let's let's be honest, that's Leviathan. It's Final Fantasy right there. Oh, for who? Quick! Huh? Gotcha! Go, 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 go! <laughs> Was that? Thought we were done for. Huh? What the Is hell? Is that Uriah's Titan? This is not good. Ah, here it comes. Jesus Christ. These dudes cannot catch a break. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. Did you expect it to not be protected by something? Listen to Tree of Might, man. Rip my boat. <laughs> Pyra? Anybody? Uh, I'm here. Of all the places for him to put that. You hurt? No. I'm fine. <sighs> Looks like we're all okay. Except for the fact that we now find ourselves in the belly of the beast. The beastie's belly? <clears throat> this is the inside of the Orion Titan. Meh, meh. Look. Tora think this not nice place. Is that how we're going to end up? Hey, Rex, don't jinx us. Everyone, shouldn't we try to get out of here? 
If I recall, the Orions live towards the beast's back. There must be a way up there. Yeah. Can't hang around here for sure. Over there. Huh? Poppy sees something over there. Mm. Someone coming this way. For real? Maybe you're just seeing things. Poppy is certain. Something is flickering over there. Flickering? You say? Some kind of ghost, maybe? Shut up. There's no such thing. Nia, you're not scared, surely? D don't talk nonsense, Rex. I'm not a kid. You're scared. At last, something Nia's scared of. <laughs> Just you watch. <laughs> Where's Pyra? What? Pyra's missing. Ah, oh, uh, great. But she was right here. Pyra? Pyra! Hey, what's up? Uh, hey, what's the big idea? Don't wander off like that. Nothing, really. I was just taking a look around. What's the matter? <laughs> what's so funny? Oh, nothing. Oh, Titan's fault. Hey, there we go. Oh, things are looking brighter already. Poppy can help too. Well, there we go. Now even more brighter. You two are certainly earning a keep. Oh, I wish I could say the same for old Dromark here. Apologies, my lady. <laughs> Damn. See? Not so scary when you can actually see. Let's find the exit. Yeah! yeah! In the beast of the belly. So yeah, I mean... Weren't we in Gormot's belly also as well? Like, the Titans are basically... To explain real quick, Titans are sort of like the... Countries for people living... Like, where people can live in them, but... They're also actual living beings that travel all around the world of At of Allrest as well. That's sort of like the Super Cliff Notes version. Um, mermaid. Dude. Uh, so yeah, with the 3DS capture cards, yeah, you send them over to Katsu Kitty, And they mod your 3DS with a capture card that ends up having a mi um, micro USB out. And then they send you the link to their software where you can then connect it to your PC and then your PC reads this as a device and that software then reads the two screens on the 3DS. So that's how I was able to do uh, Pokemon uh, recently with this. And I play. I have a bunch of playlists of uh, 3DS games going all the way back to Fire Emblem Fates last year on the channel if you guys want to check that out over on YouTube. It's all up there. <laughs> Um, <laughs> why, do <laughs> why do I feel like there's going to be some major plot twist? Oh my god. Why would a titan swallow? Not intentionally. Because um, there is plot twist, of course. It wouldn't be easy to get to the tree. Why would it? In other news, I have imagined why. <laughs> what would happen if uh, there was no protecting the tree? Casually climbs the tree? Casually Climbs the tree, gets to the top, rolls credits, starts playing Curb Your Enthusiasm. I think it's funny that you think when I uh, think it finishes when you get to the tree, there'll be another plot twist. The tree will eat them. Yeah, we end up in the tree, the tree's uh, stump. Come on, come on. <laughs> in the tree trunk. I mean, I'm ahead, so I don't really want to uh, talk about anything that isn't happening at the moment. Otherwise, I'd be accidentally spoiling something. No spoilers. Here we go. Okay, so we're at a good level. If these guys are on, 17. Awesome. Hello. Come on now. Listen, I didn't ask to battle all of you dudes. Oh, gosh. But we can bust out Rogan now that I know that wind is strong against these dudes. Joe, did you destroy a Samus Returns Limited Edition? 
Is it still limited if it's still on sale? <laughs> nah, they didn't destroy it. They just literally do a cutout right there. And the capture cards inside the motherboard and everything like that rests on top of it. Let me make sure I had a backup to my original one that had been fried. They actually repaired it for free, Katsu Kitty, which was really nice of them. They didn't have to do that. But, uh... They checked it out. They, I was like, hey, listen, I'm sending this in. Can you check this other one? Because it, like, completely crapped out on me in the middle of, uh, Aja Striker Gunbolt 2 when we were playing through it, when we were playing through that. Last year? Yeah, that was last year. That was almost a year ago. Jeez. And they were like, yeah, send it in. We'll check it out. And they freaking replaced the entire thing, which is awesome. <laughs> it's what was the game capital. Oh, yeah. Yo, uh, Magio, yeah. How does that custom firmware work for you? How's that been uh, How's that been working? Because I know you have a Katsu Kitty one, but you also have one with custom firmware on it. Hello. Who's left? Jeez. It's not destroyed, just mod. It's funny, we got to play Samus Returns on this one, which is really awesome. Or no, we played Samus Returns on the original 3DS, never mind. We only got to play Pokemon Ultra Sun on the new one so far. Oh, you have Loopy. I have one from Loopy, too. Freaking... That one's, like, solid. Like, <laughs> you can't go wrong going Loopy. But the only thing is, it's the original 3DS. So, like, if you're... If you want to play some of the Super Nintendo games on your 3DS and whatnot and stream it from there, you're kind of out of luck because the old 3DS doesn't play those games. Which is bonkers to me. That still amazes me that that's me even a thing. <laughs> Samus Returns was a big disappointment for you. What? Really? What didn't you like about it? I'm curious. Uh, we don't have anyone that's a uh, thunder. Yeah, double-edged sword. But it, his capture cards, man, the way he inst he ha does his install is solid compared to the Katsu Kitties. Like, it's more reliable in my opinion. Because he does, like, a whole additional backplate to the capture card itself. This, the Katsu Kitty ones, the capture cards are, like, installed right on top of the board. Which is still a little scary, but it's to make sure you don't have that extra backing because the 3DS XL is huge enough. <laughs> No Xenoblades Chronicle stuff, that's another one. Yeah, there's very few 3DS titles. Um, that one and, I mean, Smash runs better on the new 3DS. But I'd imagine people playing Smash and trying to stream that are playing it on Wii U. I was looking at my original launch 3DS the other day. I actually think I prefer that design to the ones that followed. Really? Just because of, like, how, like, compact it was? Oh, yeah, yeah. There we go. Whew. Dude, I busted out, like, six potions there, and no one grabbed anything, because we were actually pretty good. Okay. Oh, boy. I don't like where this is going. Let's lure them one by one. We're gonna try to lure these dudes one by one because I know we're not gonna be able to beat them all at once. You can just play Xenoblade Chronicles on the Wii Virtual Console, so that's nice. That is true too, you, can do, you have that option. Unless you really wanna play it on the 3DS because you don't have a Wii U. And that's that. There's that too. Or are we? 
terrible art style, linear story, no exploration, lack of good bosses. I expect way, uh, I expect more from Metroid games with how good they've been in the past. Have you played Metroid 2? The original one is my question. Because a lot of that is based on the original Metroid 2 in terms of like the bosses and whatnot. Which I will say is a huge improvement to the uh, not I'm not trying to curb your your opinion on the game. Just sharing opinions. Um, the, the, the Metroid, you're basically going on a genocide mission, <laughs> killing an entire species of Metroid in that game, which then leads into, that sets up, that story sets up everything for Super Metroid in terms of the baby Metroid and how that gets carried over into other M and eventually Fusion, it gets played back in that, that piece that happens in Metroid 2 sets up so many different things for the rest of that for the rest of that series. That's that's not the prime series. Let's see if we can beat this guy. I don't know. The enemies are the least of your worries. In this game? I mean in, in this area, um Tanash? Love Super Metroid, dude. That's still that and Fusion are still my two favorite Metroid games. We actually did a whole summer of Samus last year, where we went through a bunch of the uh, Metroid games. We did we beat every Metroid game, uh, except for Prime Two, Prime Three, and um, Federation Force, which. I'm hoping to get through this coming summer, so that way we'll do like Summer of Samus Part 2 and finish those games up. I have my GameCube ready to go for Prime 2. I have a feeling Xenoblade 3 will be out, and I'll still be looking for this damn Hyacinth. <laughs> Brian will be like, yo, anybody? Hyacinth? Please? I don't want to step in this ass. What the hell is that over there? Oh god, I, no, I'm worried now. Nia did the thing of walking into the gastric acid. I was like, Tora, where are you? Oh, Tora walked into the acid like an idiot. Come on, dude, get the hell out of there. Uh. Oh my god, Tora, why are you in there, dude? Oh, I hate my AI right now. I don't know, but I hope we get a get X2 before cuz Come on, let's just lure him out of here. Come on. Can we get him out of here? Of course, they're not gonna listen to me. Why would they listen to me? Why would they listen to me? Because from what I heard, it ends on a. Ah, I don't want to talk about the ending. Oh my god. Yo, guys, come on. Just go. Please. What the hell level is that? I don't want to touch that thing, knowing not knowing what the level that thing is. Welcome to how annoying this was. Yo, seriously, right now. Why, thank you. Thank you for walking out of there, finally. Ugh. Morning already? No, dude, my dude. You, you, you jumped into the acid. Real talk. Come on, man. That acid is bad, seriously. Yay, yay, man. Let's go. Why did I do that again? I keep... <laughs> my timing is terrible. Come on. Right? 
Why are you doing that? Oh god. Oh god. Yep. <laughs> Alright, everyone needs to back out of here in this battle. Come on. We need to back out of this battle. I walked into that dude. Absolutely. This is bad. Okay. Oh, hi. How are you? <laughs> Homie chased me all the way up here. All right. Yeah, that's fine. Wow, that was funny. You know, I could have just put away my blade and run away. I don't know why I didn't do that. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. That was funny. Let's try up this way. Come on, let's go. No. <laughs> it would help if I pushed A, right? Yes, it's bad. Okay. Yo, Joey Sweats, what time is it your time? Aren't aren't you uh Aren't you like five hours ahead of me, dude? How are you awake right now? Beast mode. I wasn't streaming I would totally take this opportunity to just keep doing these battles here but I'm trying to like get to the next area for the story I'm like oh, let's finish these battles it's like that's the worst thing I want to get caught in is a zone where I have to grind and I know it's probably gonna be coming up shortly so it's like I want to at least get to town and start that up so that way you know I can just level up a little bit Especially considering the fact that I know what I'll be doing when I'm refreshing my computer tomorrow morning. Uh, I'll definitely put in the time to grind it out. And bam, there we go. Lovely. It's not my fault if you fall out during battle, yeah? If you use bonus experience from side quests, you don't really need to grind out. Yeah, I've been doing side quests. Um, and I've been doing the in, the in, um, whatchamacallit, the ins to do the bonus experiences and all that stuff. I knocked out, I think I was only, I think I only left Gormot with one available side quest. Oh, and I see that speaking of side quests, there's one that's right down there. There we go. Necto Lizard. Le Draco, welcome back! You know what's a great side quest? <laughs> Rival, talk to me! <laughs> Yo, that high, that Hyacinth quest, though. Oh man, Draco. You got three more hours until your birthday's over. Can we get another happy birthday for Le Draco? Up in the chest. You hear that, Draco? I don't know if you heard that. <laughs> Who's saying ow, ow, ow? <laughs> It's like battling is so fun though. Oh. I don't know if 
about you guys. I find I find the battling fun. I just know how boring it can get if all I'm doing is just battles after battles. Oh, look at that cake. Look at all that cake from Brown. Jesus. Happy birthday to me, yo. Jack is gonna do that karaoke. The karaoke. Let's go. This dude is taking a hot minute to go down. Watch in the box! Here we go, here we go, here we go. Alright. Let's try this. Got a cool. I'll take it. I'll allow it. Boom. There we go. Finally. So yeah, I've pretty much been. I think for this playthrough, I will pretty much relegate. My side quest actions to, uh, oh god, to, uh, off camera, unless it's like, you know, we find ourselves at a choke point in the story and it's like early on in a stream, so I, I'll need to do side quests or something to that effect. For the most part, I'm gonna try to keep the Xenoblade streams to just be story based. Actually, Panache, quick question. I might be doing something wrong, but if I try to add a third blade to my party, will it just automatically let me add a third blade to the party? Or do I have to wait until like some story thing happens to be able to be able to add a third blade? Where did three of these crows come from? Can we can we talk about this real quick? What the hell? Ah! I forgot I needed to push B. <laughs> there we go. Damn, we're getting core crystals out the Aussie. You can't at the moment. Okay. Story allows you to do it later. I figured, but I, I, I'm like, you know what? Let me ask because that's probably gonna annoy me. I think I have a third blade. That's an ice type. It looks just like Rogan. Except he's got like a giant laser beam type thing. So I definitely want to get to there. Have I tried the the uh, auto attack can uh, canceled animation canceling thing yet? No, I have not. I'm not really good at the cancels. I'll be honest. I can get it. I can get it to do the change. Finally, I'm back. I accidentally clicked. The stream took me 15 minutes. I know how to get back. My bad. I'm sorry. It's all good. Oh, here we go. Final disaster. Who had that move? It was Final Flash. That was Vegeta. Um, overkill much? Yo, welcome back, Joey Splats.
And actually, I was gonna, I was, I was asking before. I wasn't sure if he, had, if he had dipped out. I was like, oh, maybe he did go to sleep. You're like four or five hours ahead of me, right? Cause I'm on the East Coast, aren't you? In, the, in okay. Europe? Time to take you Beast mode, right? I could be totally wrong about this. Although you would tell me. <laughs> Twitch app is weird. YouTube for the win. It takes some getting used to. I mean, it's it's funny. It's like, although I started on YouTube, I find Twitch's platform in terms of the streaming portion to be really easy to navigate. Sorry, the controller was on my thigh. Um, but when you're trying to find uploaded videos on Twitch, it is just damn near impossible and really difficult to find because they don't make it easy. They, they're not built to... They're not built yet for, up, for an upload pattern uh, platform, like a video on demand service. And YouTube does that really good, but the live streaming is... It's getting there, but it's still a ways off, I feel like. Once you get to Twitch, it's better streaming wise, however, VOD is dead. Yeah, and it's like, I've tried to build my library here on Twitch. The... The, um... Oh my god, that thing goes so slow that I hit B too early. Jeez, I just eviscerated him. Um... I've tried to upload my entire YouTube library to Twitch. And they're uploading. Oh, hello. Their uploading platform is just too slow at the moment. And I've had conversations with them about that. And I'm like, guys, like this is like a problem. <laughs> I, I can't, I can't upload anything to you. I want to bring my library of video on demand stuff to here because there's content that no one on Twitch has seen because. You know, they're, they're used to being only on Twitch and not going over to YouTube. I have people on here that are like that, so it's like I want to bring that platform to here. And I can't because their uploading service is just way too freaking slow. Like, it takes a full day sometimes to upload one of my videos to there. It may be 5 a.m., yo. Shout outs, man. We got a warrior here. Twitch likes to change their app every so often in an effort to battle its users. <laughs> Better Twitch TV for browser is still the best though. Wait, Better Twitch TV has a has a Twitch browser now? Let me find out. We have some Better Twitch TV um, emotes. Now you brought up what time it is. I feel like I should go to bed. <laughs> I ain't sending you to bed. I was just like, damn, yo, you a trooper, dude. Hot damn. Although we do have some people that work overnight shifts too, so it's like, it's still early for, it's still like their work day for them. Oh, I got eruption, let's go. There we go. There we go. It's like the first night I've stayed up this way for a while, yo. What, what games have you been playing? You've been playing Skyrim. Um, clearly, I know you're a big Splatoon dude. But yeah, what's what's on everybody's uh, current rotation of games? Nah, it's still on Chrome. Oh, okay, yeah, I use Chrome on my laptop. I'm thinking of jumping back to Mozilla, though. Here we go. Let's finish this off. Let's get it right this time. Whoa, the resolution just drops stupid quick. <laughs> But it makes it painful to use that because Better Switch TV adds so much to, to, to the Twitch experience. I just like using their emotes. I have not messed with anything else with Better Switch TV. Maybe I should. 
what I do need to do is mess around with more of the Twitch extensions, too, because I know they added a lot of stuff that might be useful to integrate in, integrating into this show, at least. They added the ability to keep seeing deleted messages back? <laughs> really? Wait, there's another dude here? Oh, how did I miss this? Games be hunting Hyacinth, ain't nobody got time for games! <laughs> Yo. Also playing a bit of Destiny 2 as well. Ooh, nice, nice. I played the first Destiny. I stopped at the Taken King DLC. And then I never picked up Destiny 2. It was just like... There were so many games coming out this year that I, I had to like take control back. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna only focus on this, and that's it. <laughs> While Joe grinding, I'm gonna be grinding some long arms in Death Frontier too. Yo, do you grind too? The extra features are getting ad added back quickly. Nice. Yeah, I like I like the the ability to do those custom emotes before we had gotten affiliate. I mean, we are granted we're only able to do one emote, and then at some point in the future they said they meant, did mention that we would be able to add multiple emotes down the road, but that hasn't happened yet. But it's also only been like seven months since affiliate came into play. One winged menace made Sam's do moonwalk like no other space bounty hunter could. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the After Work Crew. One Winged Menace. Welcome to the stream. Can we get some Joe After Switches up in the chat? Some hearts up in the chat for our newest follower, One Winged Menace. The list is pretty big considering how long it took for something like this to be done the first time. I borrowed Destiny 2 from a friend. I wouldn't want to buy it, to be honest. Too many other games to buy. I did see, and that's my problem uh, with with my situation, Joey. I'm like, dude, I, <laughs> there's too many games. I'm set right now. And then a game like this, I'm like, all right, well, Fire Emblem Warriors DLC comes out next week. Like, we've beaten all the, like, all the games we've done full playthroughs for on the channel, minus act, we're still in Act Four Fire Fire Emblem Echoes on the channel, which we'll we'll pick back up next year. Um, probably closer to when Fire Emblem Switch gets a release date, so that way we can kind of just blend in to the next one. Um, but yeah, like, this is... I didn't want to do a full playthrough of this game, and then here I am, like, no, I need to. I need to do this. Like, I want to share this experience with you guys, and then at the same time, I'm like, I'm not going to be able to beat this game in a timely manner if I don't stream it. kind of dim light. If I remember, the Orion Titan has a translucent hide. I bet that'll be the light filtering through. So, the Titan must be above the clouds now. I dare say. If we can make it to the source of the light, maybe we'll find a way out of here. Hold it! Oh boy. Looks like a bunch of mushes I ain't seen yet. You gotta have pretty damn bad luck ending up in a titan's guts like this. Mm. Huh? That blade. Seems like everybody knows. Core crystal. <laughs> Yo, you finally found so, one, yes! <laughs> the rumors are true. Huh? What rumors? The tale that every driver worth his salt knows. The legendary Aegis. Folks been saying she just woke up from a 500 year nap. Wouldn't have thought That's a good she'd nap. show up with a pencil next to years like you for a driver, though. You think I don't have what it takes? No, I mean, maybe you could handle a normal blade. But a greenhorn like you, with a butte like her, don't kid yourself. Come on, boy. Hand her over to a grown-up. This crap is getting old. Leave her alone. You got heart, kid. I like that. You, Zuo, you take care of the others. I want to squash the kid. <laughs> Leave it to us, boys. We'll take real good care of him. Uh 
Oh, here we go. Boss battle time. Question. I can't gift sub on my own channel? What kind of BS is that? You're up against a whole bunch of fierce opponents. Here's a little tip that might come in handy when taking on multiple enemies. Perhaps you've made it, use of it already, but that thing the arrow currently pointing to it is called a concentration icon. When you're taking on multiple enemies, even if you switch to the leader's target, your allies won't switch to theirs. They'll carry on attacking the same enemies. If you feel like you need to need some help, just press the left button. I like how they made that the C button, actually, from like N64 days. The button for concentration icons and your allies will all hone in on the same enemy as you. In a crowded battle, the order you choose to take down enemies in can mean the difference between victory and utter failure. Make good use of the target switching and have your allies concentrate on enemies, and you might find a way to out of some tricky situations. Now protect Pyra. Oh my god. Alright, here we go. Did I just get knocked down or did I? Hello. <laughs> also F. Did I mention there's some good fights on this place? Yo, it looks like this area is a whole place of good fights. My question is, I know how to switch over to... There we go, okay. I was like, I know how to switch things. I've done it before. Why is it... Why am I not doing this right this time? Probably because if you were bothered, you can buy subs for a bunch of your alts if you wanted to be noticed by Twitch. You know what? That makes sense. I was trying to gift it to Draco for his birthday. But then that's, I guess... We'll find, we'll find a way to make it work. Okay, let's get rid of this zero, dude. Oh, we're built up to... I'm actually going to go to bed. See you guys. Yo, Joey Splats, take care of yourself. Have a great night. And, dude, so good to actually see you in the stream, dude. Um, glad to grace, uh, grace us with your presence, good sir. The homie. Joey Splats. Can we get some Joe after switches up in the chat? Some hearts up in the chat. Oh, uh, look at all that love. Look at all that love for Mr. Splats. Have yourself a great night, dude. Hopefully we'll catch you later. Hopefully we'll... You'll, you'll get used to Twitch, I hope. <laughs> Alright, who's left? Big man bot bond down? And I missed a bunch of stuff in chat. My bad. I'll scroll back up. We were talking about Destiny 2 getting more hate than it should have. I agree. I agree. The experience thing, I, I totally get that with them, and I guess, like, them charging for cosmetics, but I mean, that's that's also been a thing for a while now, charging for cosmetics. But I guess when you have it for free in one game and then change it up for the next, I can see why people would get mad, but... Yeah. There's a lot more... There, there's battles to pick and choose, I guess. Link, sir, what's going on? Is this a new one? Yes, this is Xenoblade Chronicles 2. What is going on, dude? By the way, thank you for that host. I keep doing that. Woo. Noise! Put some noise in the noise! I feel like I'll do you just with the AA animation combo. <laughs> Hello. Oh, you know what? I haven't even changed to Rogan this entire time, boy. Come on, Seth Rogan. Let's go. You know, it's funny. I have a Titan that's freaking able to do this. Uh, do, do the ice and weaken him like this. But we kind of destroyed these guys, so I'm okay. Come on, 
on, come on, come on, come on. Let me get level three. Let me get level three. We got it, we got it, we got it. Yes. Finish him. Again. <laughs> Mad Hasty. Got him. Who the hell else is left? Where did you come from? I've not seen you this entire battle. Well, how did you get here, sir? Where did he come from? So should I play H1Z1 Killing 4 or Home Front The Revolution? Ooh. That's a good question. I'm not familiar with Killing 4 all that much and H1Z1 all that much. And Home Front, I did play uh, the beta back when that was on the, uh, when that beta came out for Xbox One. What's the matter? I was just flipping his butt. Or aren't you? Mm. Huh? Something feels different. This man, he's. That all you got, mate? Pathetic. How the hell was he able to do that? We'll show you. <clears throat> we'll show you what me and Pyro are made of. He dodged. What the hell? Of course I did, kid. Any swallow, you'd bore me to death. How about this, then? Rex! Wait! I can't supply power this fast! Damn. Nowhere left to run. Eat this! Playtime's over. Take this. Uh -huh. Oh. Ha! <laughs> if you're a driver, you're a new one for sure. Drivers, see? We borrow our blade's energy, channel it into our weapons, and let rip with an art. But you got to be careful. Just happened. There's a limit to it. If you go in all bullheaded like that, kid, even that Aegis of yours is gonna run out of energy before long. What? What? Huh? Huh? The name's Van Dam. I run a Rob little firm out of the nearby village. Uh, firm? Come on! I'll treat you to some grub. As thanks for letting me take a whack at the legendary Aegis. <laughs> Damn. Just then, I realized <clears throat> while we were fighting, I sensed from the very start that he didn't mean us any real harm. Hmm. He sure is a strange old goat, that one. Nani? <laughs> All right, here we go. Leave Jebus Cavern and head for the military village. We made it. Play some Killing Floor. I need friends. Yo, we only play Nintendo games up in here, homie. Flora heals an aching soul. Yo, we 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 could have been killed just now. <laughs> that would have been the end of the, the story. All right, Garfont Town. Let's go. Just making sure for Joe. Hell of a story. So you headed to the World Tree to reach Elysium, but got swallowed up production. whole instead. You got some crazy luck. So, uh, what were you doing back there, then? You know this Titan? It ain't too fussy about what it eats. I went down there to oh, see really if anything did eat us. we okay. might need in the village washed up. But mostly I only found your sorry mushes. Yeah, sorry about that. Here we are. Welcome to Garfoth. Ain't much but a toe. Damn, for a military place, it actually looks kind of nice. <laughs> the village has a lot of children. Lots of drivers and blades here, too. We're in the business of dispatching drivers and blades all across the world. Most of the kids are war orphans. That blade, Took though. Took them in what? while on the job. 
So you're saying that you take them under your wing? Just till they're able to make it by themselves. Some of them might grow up to be drivers, like ourselves. But then others might become tailors. Doesn't matter what they want to do with their lives. We leave it up to them to decide. Aye, us justice busters just want to help. Good eggs, huh? You said it. I've been called worse. Come on, let's eat. All this egg talk's making me hungry. That blade is fabulous. Yo, them wings. Oh, dang. Wow. All right, we made it. Hell yeah. Another town, another village. I mean, another titan, another village. Hey, look who's here. Food's on the table. Don't you worry about the cost. Eat as much as you like. Awesome. I'm going to get some water. Van Dam? Cheers, love. Give me a beer. Beer? Coming right up. Yeah. What's up? The grub don't suit you? So, do you fight in wars too, Van Dam? Oh, no. You got a problem with mercenaries? Are you trying to get us to join up? Ha! Shrimps like you? We're not that desperate. Relax. Okay. Good to know. Hmm. Rex. You're a salvager, ain't you? Yeah. You must have fished out your share of military supplies, right? You're fine with that. Nah, I don't want to get involved with it. It's all the same. Compasses, valves for reefer stoves. Armies need all these things. That bread you're eating, it's made from rusca flour, supplied by the Ardanian government. Mm. This world's full of war. Don't matter if you're a soldier or not. As long as you're alive, you're in the war. Some way or another. Don't you think? Um, I... Damn. Life can be cruel. Crueler than you know. That's why I set up this little band, so I could protect the people I care about. Rex, you're the driver of the Aegis. The whole world's gonna try and scalp you. You realize that? How are you going to live when you've got everyone gunning for you? It'd be easy to run. All you need to do is ditch that girl. <sighs> hmm. Come on. Got to get ready. What? Where are we going? Just follow me, kid. Hmm. That's crazy. We just ran away from the Ardanian government, and now they're, we're in a place that they're supporting, uh, they're supplying their food and everything. <laughs> uh, he said to follow him, but I'm, I'm not seeing where, him anywhere. What an annoying old guy. Where do you think Va Van Dam went? I guess we just explored a village and hope we run into him? Good idea. It's always best to give the lay of the land when you arrive in a new place. Besides, didn't he say we should get ready for something? He's not exactly big on explaining himself, is he? There's quite a few shops around, so let's stock up on anything we need while we look for him. Oh my goodness. Whew. My gosh. So yeah, just, uh, I can give the very Cliff Notes version. <laughs> um, but there's a lot to explain, uh, Plinkster. But yes, um, Titans are the actually what you see in the background there titans are where we're landing and they're living beings that cross uh all of all rest all rest is the world that we are in and the cloud sea is exactly that the cloud is hovering over the sea there's different tides and everything um and you could 
traverse all throughout each of these titans and each of these titans have different countries that you can visit and there's always something going on around there and different enemies that you can battle across all these different titans um is sort of how to explain those things in short as far as the story yeah you heard like things like aegis and blades and uh, i see uh panage doing some explaining in there which thank you panage because that is a lot of like these stuff in there <laughs> to explain as well um we're gonna come to a close soon but i want to see what the hell this dude wants so we're just gonna go directly to him and after that i'm just gonna um i'll shut it down where is homie though direction I think so yeah. awesome look at this this is crazy we got like a whole training ground and everything training people to be able to defend themselves think of it of like um pokemon loot boxes <laughs> in a way i know loot box is such a dirty word to be using these last couple of months but you can get rare ones and you can get more common ones so you can get like something of a Rattata or end up with a Mewtwo. All right, here we go, Van Dam. There you are. Come on, RVD. You sure know how to bring a guy waiting, rookies. Very sorry for wait. It's fault of Van Dam for rushing off ahead. <laughs> sorry about that. I guess you've already seen him when we fought earlier, but let's introduce ourselves properly, shall we? I'm Rock, I'm Rock Van Dam's Blade. Pleasure to meet y'all. The pleasure is all ours. I noticed you used an unusual style of weapon. Yeah, they're called they're called dual sights. Even around here, I've never met anyone but Van Dam who can use them. Wow, big man, very amazing. <laughs> Don't flatter him too much. He'll get he'll let it go to his head. Van Dam only have one blade then? Yeah, pretty much. I know most drivers have a few, so they change up their strategies in battle. But me, rocks all I ever need. Need it. Big man really is amazing. Sounds like sounds like you just can't be bothered to think up more than one strategy, yeah, old man. <laughs> well, now that we all know each other, let's get down to business. He just dodged a question. An expert, an expert dodge to be sure. <laughs> we just got a job to go check out some kind of crazy energy effect somewhere up around the blowhole. What do you say? Fancy being a mercenary for a day? Um, okay. But, I mean, we don't work for free. Don't worry, kid. You'll get paid. Oi. Oh, formation has changed, I guess. Oh, look at this. We got a new party member. Ha 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 Um, aw, dang. Oh, wait, no. I wanted to swap part. Okay, you know what? Yeah, I think we could just do that from the menu. Right. Awesome. Okay, you know what? Yes. If he wants to find out... Right. We're gonna find out what's going on. I think this might be the best place to leave this, because it's just gonna get more and more crazy over this next stuff so that way i have him in my party now and i can maybe just level up with him a little bit more which would be really really awesome but i want to catch up in the chat with you guys and then we will go and host somebody right now let's also see who's hosting that way we kind of know who to send the love back to not no i'm not saying it's a loot box but it in a way you can kind of relate it to it in terms of you don't know which one you're going to get when you're actually pairing up the crystal core with somebody unless there's something that you know that i don't know that's sort of how the common core crystal seem to work i know the rare crystal if you add certain items then you have a better chance of getting a rare a rare one <laughs> you 
You know nothing, Joe Snow. <laughs> Almost got killed by that guy, and he still dares asking him for payment. Yo, Rex is Rex reckless. We should just wake us up. No, I don't want to die. Awesome. All right, I want to thank everybody for tuning in tonight. You guys have been awesome. That has been Xenoblade Chronicles. We're 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 making our way through Chapter Three right now. I honestly don't know how long Chapter Three will be, but it seems like we're finally starting to get our foot in through the door and getting more of the story stuff in there. So before we jump into more story stuff, I want to be able to level up and do. Uh, I know there's a couple of side quests that popped up in there, so I'm gonna mess with those. Um, hopefully before the next stream. And that way we can kind of just jump into more story, if that's the case. Um, I read that, Panache. <laughs> so, guys, thank you again for tuning in. I will be editing these and breaking them up for videos over on YouTube. Um, I'll try to get them down to as much bite-sized portions as we possibly can. And um, this will be the series that we upload throughout this week. And, oh man, Christmas is coming up too, guys. Oh, oh gosh, so many things happening. <laughs> so, if you enjoyed what you saw here for the breakout video over on YouTube, give it a like, share with friends, and let know what we do here. We play video games afterward. I will see you all next time. Have a great weekend. Take care. Love y'all.